All right, today we are reading Curious George at the Aquarium. We wanted to say hello to our very special friend, Micah. Micah is a big sweetheart, and we just love him so much. And also, hello and big hugs to all you other kids. And here we go. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, George and the man with the yellow hat are visiting the aquarium. George, said the man, please wait here while I buy the tickets. George tried to wait, but he was so excited. What was inside? <laughs> he wanted to look over the walls, but they were too high. Hmm. Just then, he heard a splash and a whoosh. Water flew high into the air. People cheered. What could that be? George was curious. He hopped over the gate into the aquarium. How surprised he was. <laughs> Swimming right in front of George were two Beluja whales. The mother and the baby Beluja whales swam right past him. <laughs> That's in a little bit in the shadow. Can we maybe scooch it just a little? Awesome. And not far away was a family of sea lions diving and splashing. What fun! George noticed people walking toward a big door. Could there be more to see? He followed the crowd. Now, where was he? It was darker inside and there were fish everywhere. George didn't know where to look first. Let's see, so many things to see. In one tank, there were sharp-toothed piranhas. <laughs> oh, look, and in another tank, there were seahorses. And in another tank, there was a large red octopus. <laughs> Hmm, let's see here. George saw a group of children across the room. An aquarium staff member was pointing to different sea creatures. This is a starfish. This is a clam. And this is an urchin. Oh. Nearby, there was a long, low, colorful tank. It was just perfect for touching. But George didn't see the sign. Do not touch. Uh-oh. George was curious. As he reached his hand into the water, a large crab came scuttling out from under a rock and right toward his finger. <laughs> Snap! <laughs> Poor George. He didn't like this exhibit. <laughs> George slipped out a door into the sunlight. But, oh, what was going on here? George saw fat, funny-looking black and white fish flying out of the water. As he watched, they flew up out of the water. What kind of fish does that? And where do they go? George climbed up and into their exhibit... were not fish at all, but penguins, of course. George hopped like a penguin. <laughs> flapped his wings like a penguin. <laughs> and waddled like a penguin. A crowd gathered and laughed. But when he slid on his belly like a penguin, 
the aquarium staff stopped by to check on the penguins. A monkey in the penguin exhibit? George opened a door to escape, but instead, all the penguins ran out. Penguins, penguins everywhere. <laughs> the staff was angry at George. How could they catch all the penguins? <laughs> In all the excitement, nobody noticed the penguin chick falling into the water. <gasps> oh, no! No one but George. Ah! The baby penguin hadn't learned to swim yet. As only a monkey can, George scaled the rope hanging over the beluga tank and swung over the water, saving the chick. Ah! <laughs> Your hair is making me shame. The director of the aquarium and the man with the yellow hat heard the commotion and came running. Running, running. Oh, but look, the children are smiling. George was a hero. He saved the baby chick. Oh, my. That monkey helped the baby penguin, said a boy in the crowd. No one else could have saved him. The director thanked George for his help and made him an honorary staff member at the aquarium. <laughs> George said goodbye to his new penguin friends. <laughs> he could not wait to come back to the aquarium and visit them again. The well, we hope you like the story such as it is. We're just new at this, so just bear with us and we should get better each time. Anyway, have a very, very, very happy day. Bye-bye. <laughs>